I've been waiting for such a shotgun microphone for years now. 32-bit float internal recording, wireless audio transmission and a lot of great features. Kamika VM40 review. Let's go! What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you are watching No Limits On channel. So this microphone can record at 32-bit float. I did extensively explain how 32-bit float works in my review of the Rode Wireless Pro versus DJI Mic system, I'll leave a link down below. And basically it means that you can talk really quietly, like whispering into the microphone like I'm doing right now. And then you can really shout into the microphone and still retain the audio. And also guys, this microphone does record at 48 kilohertz. And of course guys, you have a difference between the internal recording and the wireless recording so right now you're hearing the wireless recording recorded straight into the Sony ZV-E1 camera and right now you're hearing the 32-bit float recording internally from this Kamika VM40 microphone one two three mic check one two three mic check how do you like the difference? This microphone has 32 gigabytes of internal memory and you can record up to 40 hours of 32-bit float audio recordings. Then you can turn off the microphone, tap both buttons at the same time, hold them, it will go into the file management kind of status and then you connect it with the USB Type-C to your computer and you simply drag and drop the files and work with those in post. And guys, we moved indoors and this audio is being recorded with the Kamika VM40 as well alongside my Sennheiser MK. 600 with the DBX 286S preamp and to my audio card Audient Evo 4. I'll be testing those side by side and I'll write down which one is which but mostly we'll be listening to the Comica VM40. But right here I have a second one because I have a kit of two VM40s in this pretty nice case. So let's have a look what's inside. So in the top compartment we have two dead cats, wind protectors, pretty furry ones, also two pop filters for the indoor shoes so you don't hear the p and b sounds sounding really uh, like loud, like plosive sounds. And this is nice as well. We have some adapters from a quarter inch thread to three eighths and from three eighths to a bigger one. Nice touch, two of those, two packages. Also here we have a pretty long cable with USB type A and USB type C adapter for sending the files to your computer or to connecting it to your computer as a microphone. Also here we have two cables for connecting to your smartphone or camera. Uh, so basically mini jack cables. And also here we have a USB type C to USB type A, but we have three USB type C's and one USB type A charging cable, which is nice. So you can charge two microphones and the receiver at the same time. Nice touch. So in the bottom compartment, we have a different set of uh, accessories. So here we have the manual, of course, also the shock mount. It's made out of plastic, but it's a pretty nice shock mount and it tested extensively. It's okay. Also here we have a sliding pad so you can mount it onto your camera in a very good way. Just slide it back and forth so it's not in the way of your lens. The next thing we have here is the receiver itself. We'll take a look at it more closely in a few seconds. And also here we have two adapters for the big stand, like a mic stand with a big thread. And also it can be adjusted in terms of the angle. So very nice touch as well. And two microphones. So basically one is recording me right now on top and here is the second one. The working distance is about 200 meters line of sight, but you have the internal recording and that is why I wouldn't care a lot about the working distance. But as a test, let's walk a little bit. I'm blocking the signal with my body. So the microphone is in front of my mouth, of course, and the receiver is on the camera. But guys, anyways, the built-in recording just makes the difference, all the difference. But don't forget to turn on the recording and you can do it uh, manually or you can do it via the app and you can set the setting in the app so it uh, turns on automatically automatically <laughs> when you turn on the microphone itself and the app by the way has a lot of different features and functions i'll talk about it in a little bit so all in all i don't really care if this microphone works at this distance because with the built-in recording i would anyways use this recording because it has slightly better audio quality 32-bit float versus 24-bit that goes wirelessly now let's take a closer look at the microphone itself. So here we have the gain adjustment knob from 1 to 10. I mostly use it on the maximum setting. Also here we have the USB Type-C for firmware updates and also connecting it to your computer using it as a mic or just sending the files. Here we have the recent mini hole and you can reset it through here. Also we have the mini jack output and also right here we have the turn on button and the pairing button itself. When you hold it, it turns on. 
the record button when you press and hold it will start recording and when you just press it it will go into the low cut filter first then to the high pass filter and once again both are lit so it means that you have the noise cancellation mode on so basically now it's turned off completely and more or less guys this is it the build quality is really nice it's made out of high quality plastic i guess or maybe even metal so the built-in transmitter is in here as well so all in all pretty great product and right now i have opened the app the mobile app for this microphone and guys we have here the low cut filter here it is one two three one two three it cuts down the low cut and the low frequencies let's turn it off one two three one two three then the high frequency boost so the high frequencies could be like more <laughs> than and boosted basically one two three one two three we can mute the microphone as well but i will not do this right now and we have the denoise function right now it's off now let's get it to low confirm so here is the low setting of the denoise one two three one two three now let's go to the high setting of the denoise here it is one two three one two three and now let's turn it off completely so here it is turned off completely one two three one two three so those features could be uh, toggled with the app or with the remote i mean the receiver or on the microphone itself and right here guys we have the receiver itself it has three buttons right here the left channel the right channel and the mode button or the turn on off button also here we'll have a little clips or it's a uh, called shoe mount as well usb type c also the output for the camera and also the headphone jack and it has zero latency i can hear myself live without any latency that i can hear uh, throughout this system so right here we have the microphone 2 which is recording me right now on top and the microphone 1 which is right here and we can adjust the gain as you can see this is the gain of the left microphone it can be uh, adjusted from minus 18 to plus 18 and here is the gain of the top microphone as well also when you hit the left button and hold it it'll turn on the noise cancellation then you hit and hold it again the second stage of noise cancellation and hit and hold it once again and it'll stop the noise cancellation the mode button goes from stereo to safety to mono so when you place two microphones nearby it'll act like a mono stereo or a safety track combo and the right button is for the recording but i don't want to stop my <laughs> recording on the top microphone you'll get it and guys if you are really into the tax packs here they are on the screen just pause it and take a look so right now guys i'm recording with my camera and the comica vm20 microphone it's a pretty budget mic but it's a really good one for the money especially and also right now you can hear the comica vm40 with a built-in 32-bit float recording the mics are on arm's length from myself and one two three mic check 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 so these are the results please drop a comment down below how do you like the sound from both of those mics of course guys the shotgun microphones they have the best sound quality when you're in front of the microphone and pretty close to it when i start to get back from the microphone it's getting not that good even the 32-bit flow recording no matter if i raise up the volume you'll hear more of the forest environment as well but when you go to the side of the microphone you have the worst audio uh, basically it cuts off uh, all the audio from the side almost then from the back it gets a little bit better and then from the side it's always cutting out a lot of the audio and also in front of the microphone is getting the best performance in terms of battery life guys if you plug it straight into your camera you'll get around 32 hours of work time if you use the wireless transmission with the receiver you'll get around 10 hours and if you record simultaneously you'll get around five hours of record time also guys i took this microphone to my professional shoot for the dentist clinic for their youtube channel and i did use the rode wireless pro level air mic on them and also the comica vm40 standing right below the edge of the shot and i actually did prefer the audio from the comica the following fragment is in russian but you'll be still able to hear the audio quality difference so take a listen но для начала нужно понять что именно болит и в каких ситуациях что помогает но для начала нужно понять что именно болит и в каких ситуациях что помогает но для начала нужно понять что именно болит и в каких ситуациях что помогает and right now guys we're testing out the wind protection the wind screen wind muff uh, dead cat if you will so the comica vm20 had a pretty flimsy dead cat it wasn't doing a lot and right now we're having a pretty strong wind as you can hear i guess from the vm20 
but the VM40 has much beefier wind protector, uh, wind shield, wind muff, and how do you like the audio from both of those microphones in those windy conditions? And it is pretty windy right now. And now, guys, I'll put off the deck cat from the VM40, and you'll hear how it sounds without any wind protection. So there you go guys, no wind protection and I guess this audio is not usable at all. So right now guys you're hearing my Sennheiser MKE 600 plus the DBX 286S preamp plus the EVO 4 audio interface without any voice isolation features in my Echoey studio. And right now guys you're hearing the Comica VM40 32-bit float without any corrections. Just uh, adjusted the gain a little bit because 32-bit float files are a bit quiet. So I just added a limiter but it doesn't basically do anything to the audio quality. So how do you like the audio considering that this combo is maybe four times more expensive than this microphone. And also guys right now you can hear the Sennheiser with noise isolation and right now you're hearing the Comica VM40 with voice isolation as well to fight against the echo in my studio. And also guys I did test if you can charge the receiver and the microphone itself while it's recording and while in use and yes you can do it and you will not get any static sounds from the charging. Also guys I have to mention that there is analog output and also a digital output. And also guys I did record for more than an hour with this microphone internally and after an hour it creates a new file but guys there is no gap between the two you just put the second file to the first one and you'll have no issues. And guys you can use this microphone with your smartphone or with your computer both in wireless mode with the receiver or just plugging it in straight to the computer or smartphone without like wireless transmission. Also guys there is a special app by Comica for those two mics and you can operate both microphones and the receiver itself. You can turn on or off different functions, you can set the dated time, you can make a ton of adjustments so the app is simply awesome. And now guys the most interesting part what about the pricing. So there are two kits the single mic kit and also the dual mic kit. The single mic kit will be $249 which is a really nice price for this good of a product with a ton of accessories with built-in recording and it sounds also really nice in my opinion. And also for the two microphone kit it will be $399 which is a bargain in my opinion and you get a ton of stuff for this amount of cash. So let's conclude. In my opinion for this price Comica VM40 is a no-brainer. I did use the Comica VM20 mic, a pretty basic one but very affordable. Also the Comica VM30 with wireless transmission but without any onboard recording and this just checks any box. All the boxes basically. And I'll be using this microphone extensively on my daily work and to be honest I could replace my Sennheiser, my DBX, my audio interface with just this microphone, record internally and sync it with a clap in post and that's it. Super easy, super budget version but it sounds really nice in my opinion. Just let me know in the comment section below what you think about the audio quality of this mic as well. If you did enjoy this video please smash the like and subscribe buttons and hit the notifications bell and if you don't need the 32-bit flow recording I'm not sure why you wouldn't. Here is a review of the Comica VM30 microphone with wireless transmission but without onboard recording. See you in that video guys, take care, bye.